Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Strap yourselves in, Serpents, because we have a lot, a lot to unpack when it comes to Luna One. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, go back and check out some of the previous videos that I've made on it. I've interviewed some of the team members about it. We've spoken about the vision, the mission of this project. Now, why I'm so excited about Luna One, what they're up to, and just the long term, what this project can achieve in the not too distant future, is that very similar to the 90s boom, the internet boom, right? A lot of companies started, a lot, a lot of organizations tried to tap into the industry because it was trending, because it was moving, and you know what it's like, a trending move, everyone wants a piece of it, but the substance behind those organizations was little to nothing and so what ended up happening is that say eight nine hundred companies start a thousand companies start and by the end of like a three year period five year period only one out of a thousand end up still being around now when i look at the metaverse and i look at what's been going on and i look at the epic failure of meta and how they've wasted 50 billion dollars and if you look at their metaverse my god just do yourselves a favor and go check it out so you can have a laugh today the point is when it comes to the metaverse there are going to be hundreds upon hundreds of projects which are going to come out claiming saying they're going to do this say they're going to do that myself personally over the course of now almost a year of research into the metaverse I've put my own personal, I guess, bet, opinion, backing into this one. So I'm not going into Decentraland, I'm not going to Sandbox, I'm not going to this one, no, 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 I'm going in this one. Now, it's not financial advisor, I'm not a financial advisor. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of the latest updates. Then it's up to you to research, to understand it, and maybe, just maybe, you and I might see the same value when it comes to this particular project. Now, for those of you that are brand new to this particular project, you may have never heard of it, let's go over a quick breakdown before I go over some of the key features, some of the key milestones which are coming up, which are very, very exciting, by the way. So, imagine society decentralized. Explore new worlds in the Luna One metaverse, your new virtual place to connect, play, live, shop, work, study, and attend special events. Essentially, that is the goal, the mission, vision of this particular organization. Now, we will go over and I'll, I'll share with you the, the white paper, what that looks like and you know how that's going to look. And then you can also watch the trailer, which by the way, is epic. I like the fact that you've got all the social channels right here. And by the way, part of your research is to go through every single one of them. Every single one of the social channels, look at everyone, look at every, everybody that's involved, research the CEO, research everybody, so that you can get a very, very good understanding and posture about what it is that you're into. Now, what do you want to explore? Shopping, events, which are gonna be run on there, real estate, which is gonna be sold inside the metaverse, your work environment, perhaps maybe gaming, education. It, this particular metaverse is going to cover all of these aspects. Now, why is, why is that important? Well. It's important because when we look at it in an ecosystem, something that's gonna be around for a long time to come, it needs to cover every single aspect. You can't just do one, right? You can't just be a metaverse that sells real estate or you can't just be a metaverse that does shopping or you can't just be a metaverse that does just gaming. You can be, right? But if you look at the world, well, the world has everything, right? It's got everything that you can possibly imagine. That's what these guys are creating. Now, I'll mention it again. I've already mentioned it once already, and it's only been four minutes that you've been watching this. Patience, patience. The very first video that I ever made about Luna One, I clearly stated, I'm here till 2024 when it comes to this. 2024, so I'm not around to see what I can do, you know, when, when the coin launches on the exchange, which I will tell you the date. I'm not here for that. I'm here with this till 2024. Now that, of course, as an investor has a level of risk, because you know, what if they don't achieve what they want to achieve? But let me tell you something about the crypto industry. If you want to achieve massive returns, if you want to be around people going, how did you hear about that one? And how did you get it for that price? 
you gotta be with the project along the way. Now, are there gonna be hurdles? Are there gonna be delays? Is there gonna be things that happen along the way which they need to adjust as an organization? Yes, but that's part of being on the journey with an organization. So part of your research is to understand how Luna One is going to integrate all of the things that we do in everyday life into their metaverse. That's essentially what it comes down to. Now, they have their own token, the XLN token, Excellent currency underpinning the ex uh, expensive metaverse economy. Buy, sell, build on your property with it. Voting power through the DAO. Participate in the new digital metaverse economy. Essentially, when it comes to everything in this organization, you're going to have to use their token. And that in itself is going to create a lot, a lot of case studies and a lot of reasons why holding the coin, staking the coin, and just essentially you know, having the opportunity in 2022 to get the coin, it's gonna pay off huge dividends when we get to 2023, and especially when we get to 2024. Now you might think, a serpent, 2024 seems a long time away. Trust me, it ain't. Because we are nearly at 2023 already. Now, they do have proprietary IP. So the proprietary Luna One chain is designed with over 400,000 TPS and uses direct acyclic, uh, cyclic graph DAG technology for a faster and more suitable blockchain hyper realism this is a big one this is a huge one this is one of the main reasons why initially it caught my attention is that they're pioneering a hyper realistic open world metaverse luna one is a one-to-one -one representation of reality pushing the limits of technology to produce a lifelike experience in the metaverse and then the native wallet and nft so there's a lot there's a lot coming right and there are some very very, very, very smart people which are involved inside this particular project. Now, decentralized file storage, which is at a huge sector, VR and AR, I'll tell you about that, and streaming platform as well, so you can have your own concert. Hey, who knows? You might be seeing a Crypto Serpent event inside the metaverse, inside Luna One, in the not too distant future. I can tell you, I'm working on it. I'm already working on it. I've got you guys, I've got you. It is truly revolutionizing how far, how far the vision of this particular organization is. That means it's gonna take you quite a bit of time to research. You can't just go and watch this particular video and make up your mind. I want you to research, I want you to read the white paper, I want you to understand the extent of what these guys are going for. Because if you understand the vision of the problem that they're trying to solve and how deep they're going into it, then you can really understand why having the XLM token in 2022 makes sense. And the partners are insane that are getting involved. There's a lot of big organizations that are getting involved because they understand. How do they understand? Because they did their research on just how big this organization can get. And so research the partners, research the CEO, the CTO, all the people that are involved with the organization. Because like I said, that research that you do today will pay off huge dividends as we move forward later down the track. So that there is a breakdown of very, very quickly of some of the things that I want you to do as part of your research when it comes to this. Now, part of that is also looking at the presentation and looking at everything that the company is gonna get up to following all the socials, which I will get to in just a moment. But that there is a breakdown of why Luna One. Now let's get into some of the updates. Now the company's objective is to become a top 10 cryptocurrency. Now, when you think about it, it's like, whoa, that is a big, 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 big goal, big, you know, task ahead of them. And yes, but if we think about society decentralized, then it doesn't seem, it's not that far-fetched. So, gaming, right? So they're partnered with top-level gaming experts at some of the most expensive MMOs in the market. Sapphire Studios, Gold Inc., developing ways to integrate their games inside the Luna One metaverse. Now, gaming and utility in the gaming, if you nail that, then you can watch the project skyrocket within days, not within weeks. That's how powerful something like that can be. Now, high-grade tech, so the technology will rival and even exceed $600 million projects. So they're really, really going for this, right? So we're talking about 4K high-resolution graphics, decentralized file systems, proprietary Luna One chain. So the technology around it and what they're doing with this 
is absolutely huge. And like I've mentioned, you know, there are different you know, steps and different things that they're taking around this. Now, when we talk about um, enhancements, they've taken the ocular system and made it better, increasing the capacity of simultaneous users, making them one of the most expensive metaverse platforms in existence. Why is that important? Well, when it comes to shopping in the future inside the metaverse, it's gonna look good. Like, can't look like, you know, your Decentraland and your sandbox that looks, you know, like, it looks like a joke, to be honest, between you and I. And a lot of people share that same, that same mentality. And we talk about learning and educating and, and, you know, just living inside the metaverse, it's gonna look good, right? Now, when we talk about concerts, for example, right, the, X, the XLN will be used as a payment method for concerts in the metaverse, using, adding utility to the XLN token, and NFTs will be used for ticketing, adding utility to XLN as a whole. So, once again, like, you know, we're talking about massive industries jumping on board, running their shows inside this particular metaverse. And again, the utility of the XLN token is going to skyrocket, once again. Patience, patience. Staking, offering uniquely high staking returns unmatched by other metaverse projects, which is also true, right? So this is what we're talking about. It's, it's about seeing the future before it happens. That's how you, you know, get a great return on your investment, right? If you come back in a couple of years time, it will be too late because all of these things will already be implemented. But in 2022, we do have that opportunity. Then when we talk about incentivizing um, the staking with high APYs, increasing the amount of locked up XLM tokens, the education space, so building a space for facilitated education with feedback from industry experts. Then we talk about partnering with leaders in the space, so universities, online learning, and teaching a marketplace platform. So the opportunities are endless. Then we talk about, from a shopping perspective, right, partnering with brands to sell digital and physical items. So launching a Luna One merch shop, setting up XLM as a form of payment, and making commerce on Luna One fast and easy and driving, buying and selling forward. That, ladies and gentlemen, just the shopping alone is gigantic. Gigantic. So I hope that it's starting to paint a picture around all the different bits and pieces of everyday life, which are gonna be in the metaverse, inside the Luna One metaverse, which is really, really, really cool. Now, the other thing that excites me about this particular project is that they understand that you need to market your project. It's not going to happen just because, hey, we have a great product, everybody love us. It doesn't work that way. So do learn about the staking, learn about what that looks like, how that can work, and what are the advantages of that. But when we talk about the landscape, when we talk about how big the industry is going to be and what's going to happen and how it's all going to work, well, you can be the best or be one of the best. But if you don't market yourself, then it's not really going to work. So they've got a massive influencer pushing to gain exposure strategy. So increasing the staking and add positive pressure to buy. Offering financial incentives using the promise of commission to incentivize influencers and continue support links for user commission. Now, when done right, you can really, really quickly, under, you can really quickly get a lot of people to know about your project. And so I'll be looking forward to see how they roll that out and what that looks like. Because to me, it makes sense, right? I mean, you get people that have an influence to talk about the project in a positive manner, to highlight to their audience what the project is. And then to me, like that makes sense, right? From a, from a marketing and from a pushing the marketing perspective. And the fact that they're openly telling the community about it, they're being transparent saying, hey, we're gonna get top level influencers, thought leaders in the space to talk about our project because they believe in their project. And they're allocating a huge sum of capital towards marketing, buybacks. So instead of distributing from the wallet, they will buy back XLM from Bitmart daily and pay out commissions to influencers. There's gonna be a website for that called buy.lunar1.com and huge volumes are expected for that as well. And also from a unique strength which stems from the superior technology, utility, vision, and strategic partnerships point of view, that's what's going to transform them beyond the scope of being a typical metaverse into a massive multiverse. And they're, in, they're incredibly excited to be one of, the mo one of the most expensive and tech forward metaverses projects out there in the market. And so this you know, has allowed them to rival projects that had $600 million backing and we, while also improving upon the Oculus system 
And the best part is that when they are, they're in this space to make a difference and they strongly believe that they can make a difference. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see how this plays out. And I am very much looking forward to the rollout of all these different things which are they're going to they're be, um, you know, rolling out. And so from a, from a project perspective, from the way that I see this rolling out, I, I'm excited, I'm, I really am, because I think that they can nail it. And if they do nail it, it's going to be really, really cool. There's going to be all different types of companies, organizations, which are going to go into partnership with them. From ambassadors as well, there's going to be, you know, like all types of people, you know, because people buy from people that they like and trust. And once they see that this project is the real deal, a lot of people, a lot of organizations, a lot of influencers, a lot of like high level, you know, artists and musicians are going to get involved and run their concerts on it. It can really, really quickly gain extreme momentum and really start to fly. So from a marketing perspective, they get it, they understand it, and they understand that it takes money to make money and they're willing to spend it because they're backing their project. All right, so now let's talk about the exchange listing and what is coming. Now, when you start to look into Luna One, what I do want you to do is stay up to date going into the Discord channel and being part of the community there. They're very, very active on there. But more importantly as well, to be with the Twitter. So follow, alarm bell, all that good stuff. And when it comes to Luna One, there is a huge announcement. And that huge announcement is that the XLN token is now going to go on Bitmart. You can actually deposit already. The deposit feature is now active. But the trade feature will go live on the 31st at 3 p.m. UTC. Now make sure that you know what 3 p.m. UTC is in your time zone. Let me explain to you how the serpent sees day one of trading on the XLN token go. Now again, it's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but let me tell you what's going to happen. We are currently in a bear market. Some people bought this a long time ago when they first heard about the project. Now, if they bought the project and didn't do the proper research, didn't understand what was going on, didn't understand where this thing is going in the next two years, the chances are that on the day of launch, they're gonna be like, ooh, I can actually get some money that I initially invested with this project out and put it into another project. So I am not expecting at all for the project to do well on day one of launch. Now, if it does, brilliant. Fantastic, I'll be the first person to cheer and happy and clap, but I'm ready for people that haven't done the proper research into this project to sell their initial coins. For people that are impatient, for people that are just simply, you know, like they just don't get it. And that's fine, that's not a problem. What I don't want you to do is to look at the project launch and say, for example, the coin goes down for whatever reason, to think that the project isn't a good project because Ethereum used to be 4,400 USD and look where it is right now. Has it changed the value of the organization and what it does and what it's going to do long term? No. Same with this. So what I'm saying, Serpents, is that don't be discouraged or think that you know the project isn't good if the project launches on day one and then it you know there's a delay in the project to, to the token value matching what the project is actually going to do i'm going i'm going into day one of the company going live on bitmart that the company coin is going to go down that's my mindset if it goes up brilliant fantastic we're all going to be you know really really happy about it but we are currently in a bear market and people are desperate at the moment because they just don't understand the long-term vision of all these projects and what they're up to and, and what's going to happen. So once again, my mindset is it's gonna go down on day one. But long-term, 2023, 2024, as all the rollouts start to happen, this thing is going to explode. And as I've mentioned throughout the video, their vision is to be a top 10, top 10 crypto. If you hold, if you have the posture, if you understand it, if you do the research, if you stay up to date, if you stay in the Discord communities and the Twitter communities and understand everything that this project has to offer, then you and I are going to be around in 2024 going, ha, I can't believe we bought Luna One in 2022. Now again, it's not financial advisor, I'm not a financial advisor, but I have 
extreme long-term mentality and mindset when it comes to projects and I understand what it's all about. And so from my point of view, that is how I'm going to go into this. I'm gonna go with the mindset that day one, potentially might go down. Well, we're in a bear market, right? There's a very, very good chance that the token prices will go down day one. When we get to 2024, completely different level. And I believe that they can do it. I believe that they can go all the way. And as I've mentioned, there's going to be a lot of projects out there. There's a lot of metaverse projects. I've got my money on this one. And again, that's just because of all the research that I've done and understanding and having the opportunity to speak to some of the team members and interviewing them on this channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. Look forward to see you on the next one.